Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another book review. Second book now, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm absolutely loving the journey so far. I'm on my, onto my third book already, which I can't wait to share with you. I'm halfway through it, and it's blowing my mind at this moment in time. But second book I read was Ego is the Enemy by Ryan Holiday. Amazing, amazing, amazing book. So I was given this book by a friend of mine, actually a client of mine, a while back, he just brought the book. I don't know if he was trying to tell me something. I believe that he was. <laughs> Ego. And I want to be completely honest with you. I think this really touched a nerve within me because Ego has been a huge problem for me over the years. And I don't know what to put that down to. I don't know whether that's um, maybe a, uh, an influence from my father uh, over the years and a sense of being better than everybody else. I don't know, but that's not me. But there's been times in my life where that has been the case, where I've acted in a really bad way, where I've acted in a, in a way that I, I felt that I was better than somebody else. And this book really owned it in of ego really is the root to evil. Um, I, I totally believe that. And rather whilst I was reading this book, Many, many times I was like, wow, I've done that. Wow, I act this way. Wow, this is really hitting home. And I, I don't know if, if the majority of people have, I think the majority of people have got an ego, uh, but more people than others will act in certain ways that shows the ego even more. So explanations of that would be, um, someone might have done you wrong in the past and you might have have some hatred towards them and you want to get something over them um, and that's your ego talking what are you going to gain from that that's just basically your ego saying no no i'm not going to let that person get over this one over me i'm going to do something and i'm going to make them look silly i'm going to make them look stupid or i'm going to make them i'm going to show him that i'm better uh, and that, that's wrong that's just the ego where is that going to get us um so this book really touches on, on a lot a lot of points i've highlighted a lot of things which i feel were important to me but I just want to read you a few of those things. For example, pride blunts the very instrument we need to own it, to own it order to pride blunts to the very instrument we need to own it order in order to succeed. Our mind, our ability to learn, to adapt, to be flexible, to build relationships, all of this is dulled by pride, by ego. Um, John D. Rockefeller, as a young man, practiced a nightly conversation with himself. Because you've got to start, it say, aloud or right in his diary, you think you're quite a merchant. Look out or you'll lose your head. Go steady. Um, another one. The question to ask when you feel pride then is this. What am I missing right now that a more humble person might see? What am I avoiding? What running from? With my bluster, frankness and embellishments it is far better to ask and answer these questions now with the state still low than it will be later don't boast there's nothing in it for you uh, and this is just a bit and bobs here that i've that i've highlighted there's a lot more to this but basically i believe anybody and everybody should read this book because ego really is the enemy um give it a go let me know your thoughts, comment below, like, share, and uh, thanks again for um, watching and listening. Maybe these book reviews are not your typical book reviews that you'd get from maybe someone who's a book, um, I guess, connoisseur. I'm not that, I'm just a normal human being trying to read more and trying to um, really have an impact on this here, my, 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 my mind. And I believe books like this make me a better person, will make me a better person over time. Will I still make lots of mistakes? Absolutely. But things like this will keep reminding me of reading it back and looking at myself deeper inside, which the only thing we can do is try to be better on a day-to-day -day basis. And I believe books is what allows us to do that. So thank you again for watching, listening, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.